because that's what I look for just to fantasy football. Any other day, I just probably want to go to sleep. I really used fantasy football initially as the hook to keep them engaged, um, but give them a variety of something to do. And then they look forward to it. Um, I hardly have any absences on fantasy football day. They think they're playing, they don't think they're mathing, and they, that's always what they like to do is play. And it really has worked very well. Oh, yeah. Let it all just throw you, you get to slam on them haters like your name Vince Carter. Goal. Vince Carter was slam on you. Shaq was slam on you. Yao Ming was slam on you. All you do is run down the field and kick it into the no, goal. You don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, and that's all you do is throw it down the court and put it in the basket. Soccer? Oh, wait. Give me the basketball. Okay, I So on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your enjoyment of mathematics before you started fantasy football? Negative 10. Oh, negative 10? Math seven. always put me to sleep. Okay. Okay, and what would... 6 or 7. 6 or 7, and now what would you rate it? A nine, nine and a half. Okay. Yeah, not the same. Same. How would you rate your enjoyment of mathematics before you started fantasy football? Negative four. Negative four. Okay. <laughs> Probably zero. Zero. I and hate how? Math. You hate. Okay. So what about now, with fantasy football? What would you rate it? On the fantasy football days, you get like an eight. Yeah. Okay. Eight, nine. When they do graphs, I really make them do graphs weekly, and so they do the graphs and they color them. Uh, and they, I put them on the board. And initially, some of the boys especially just want to do pencil shading. They don't want to do anything foofy, what they think is foofy. And so when I put it on the board and it looks so good, the bright colors, the brighter the color, the, the more distinct the various graph sections, the better it looks. And they start looking at other people's and they think, whoa, you know, I could do that. I'd like mine to look that good. So by the end of the semester, the graphing is all very nicely done. The whole reason fantasy football should be there is to like make kids want to do math and make it easier for them to learn. So it gives them a better attitude, puts them in a better mood when they're in math class because it's something interesting and fun. Mm -hmm. so, so would you say, do you think that students are more motivated when they know they're going to be playing fantasy football? Yeah. Something they can actually achieve and do better in. Ah. Are you two uh, more motivated? Do you look forward to I the do. days when you play fantasy? Yeah, I do. It's you real do. fun. Are you learning any math? Yeah, it's um, helping us distribute and learning fractions, and I'm not very good at fractions, so it helps me a lot. What would you say is the single best thing about fantasy sports in math class? Um, I like the charts. I like the competition. If like people want to get people interested into it and like into math, I think that fantasy football or a sport of their choice would be good because it makes you do equations, but you're having fun when you do it. Well, who's your starting lineup? Um, Tony Romo, Terrell Owens, Julius Jones, Chad Johnson, Drew Carter, and Justin Vidal. Are you a Cowboy fan by any chance? Yeah. Okay. We've been playing fantasy football in the Algebra program for four years and with the Algebra 1, 1A students for three years. Well, as an Algebra teacher in a California high school, I have to prepare kids to pass Algebra. They have to be able to pass Algebra to get out of high school. And it doesn't matter whether they do it in the book or do it in fantasy football. They have to be able to do it. So they do it in fantasy football and then I can say to them, ta-da, you know, you can do this. This is what you can do. This is a skill you have. Look at these test problems and tell me what's the problem now. You've got the skills, do the problems. And they do them.